things are certainly starting to come together. We have our three tabs rendered and we're only rendering the content based on the current active tab ID. What we don't have, however, is some way to dynamically change which tab is selected. At the moment, it's hard coded to one and I can't change it. So let's go ahead and see how we can improve that. What we need to do is update this tab component. We need to make it a bit more dynamic. So what I'm going to do here is after I filter it, we're also going to do map. And then we're going to pass in some extra properties using our earlier knowledge of the, the H component. So let's jump in here and do this. It's going to be a tab, so I'm just going to call it tab to make it a bit easier to understand. We're going to return a new render function in here. The first argument, as we've seen, it can be tags. So for example, a div. It turns out you can also pass in a component as well. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass in my tab component. For the second argument, we're going to use the object and that's going to be our properties. In this case, we're going to have our class. And I'm going to pass in a few different classes here. The first one is going to be tab and that's going to be true. And that's just going to give me some better styling. Let's just make sure this one is all working by saving this off and we should hopefully see some styling get applied. I've refreshed the page and we are getting that styling applied correctly. So everything is working as expected. If we inspect the DOM, we can see here the correct class is being applied here. What we also want to do is apply an active class and that's going to give us the correct highlighting as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. We have this one class declaration here. We're also going to have active and this is going to be dynamic. It's going to depend on the current active tab ID. So what I'm going to do here is just say this dot active tab ID and see if it's equal to tab dot props dot tab ID. And if they're equal, we're going to say active is true and that should give us our nice styling. Let's save it off and see what happens. If I refresh the page, I am getting that correct styling. This one is active, so it's getting the blue highlighting. And this is actually not changing when I click on these. The reason this is not changing is because we haven't implemented that click listener. And that's something we're going to go ahead and do right now. In the same way you pass in the class properties here, we can also have our events. So I'm going to have an on click listener here. It's going to be a function. And what we need to do is go ahead and update our V model. Let's head over to app and just verify what we're going to be doing. What we'd like to be doing is emitting an event. It's going to be an update active tab ID and that's going to update this active tab ID correctly. And that's quite easy to do. All we need to do in here is say this dot emit. We're going to emit an update active tab ID and then we're going to pass in the correct tab ID, which is going to be prob taps tab dot props dot tab ID. And with a bit of luck, this is going to emit the correct tab ID. So one, two or three, it's going to update the parent and then it's dynamically going to change the active class because we're matching against tabs.prop.id. Let's save it and try it out. So if I head over here and click this, everything is updating correctly and it's changing the class and it looks like everything is working correctly. There is obviously one bug though. This content down here is not changing and you would expect that it should be changing. We're doing everything correctly and we're matching against the tab ID here. I'm going to explain why this is happening in the next lecture, so I'll see you there.